Hey, this is Fibro Michelle. I generally don't stop to um, do records to people's letters, but uh, this girl caught my heart tonight. She subscribed to my videos. I usually talk about fibromyalgia, which basically is just a disease that's growing because there's a pain. There's pain. And I don't know if it's a psychological thing. I think it's part of it because I've been going through it for a long time. Also, I think it's our surroundings and our, and our world, you know, that's not getting a good treatment and it's also our brains that aren't uh, taking care of pain like it should and it's also um, FDA government whoever it is that you know doesn't I don't think they really want to know what fibromyalgia is because then we wouldn't go see you know a thousand doctors and have them all tell us we're crazy but this young girl really you know struck my heart chords and and I see her fear and that makes me sad because when I was her age um, I cared about the world and I thought about the world, but I went out and I lived it and I went to England and Europe and I talked to homeless people in San Francisco and I read books like uh, from Anne Rand and uh, you know, figured out different things and and I watch every old movie or any docu documentary I can and it teaches me that the world isn't any different from the Roman times before Christ BC and it also teaches me the more I know with Christianity um, it's the people that most subscribe to Christianity I've been hurt by and the dogma and we need to watch out for that because it's the people that scream the loudest that hurt us the most um, I help people every day but I don't talk about it and I don't scream about it and the people that hurt me the most were the ones that told me they were the greatest Christians the greatest Mormons in Utah and I'm writing a uh, script about it called Yellow Flashing Light. But anyway, um, what I really want to get forth is stop the fear. Stop it. You're a young, beautiful girl, and I want you to live your life. It doesn't matter if you made a bad decision about your tuition, about something else. Just go out and live. If you want to be a singer, go be a singer. Um, I did that when I was your age. Now I'm disabled with fibro and I can't work so I bought a canvas at a yard sale and I'm painting and I never thought I could paint before because it's not my forte I'm a I'm a performer but I had you know some people over and people that know about art cuz I don't I'm not educated in art and they said it was good and all I know is it helped me work through some of my stuff and when I write and do poetry and I sing it helps me work through my stuff and all I know is the people in charge, there's um, always going to be the rich people that control the poor people. doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. We should not be fighting against each other with liberals or Democrats. We should be all working together uh, about a, a government that's not working, that's not um, you know, helping people, and that's just only really looking out for the people and the corporations and giving them their golden parachutes. But don't be scared by it. It's happened throughout history. It'll continue to happen until we see that governments are trying to scare us. I was just watching PBS tonight, and it was a documentary about um, Russia and Germany and the war and Churchill and the things that the government knew, and they didn't want to tell the people because they just wanted to win the war. And, you know, Russia killed 500,000 Polish people then blame it on the German people and then put it back on themselves later because they just had to get the world you know good with what they're doing so whatever the government's doing we can't control it right now we can't do anything about it but talk to the people that uh, well we didn't elect I know because I don't believe in government at all I think that they're all there for their own reasons okay they're there because they weren't uh, getting listened to, they needed some attention. I doubt there's one good politician out there. I'd like to meet one good politician because I think that they're all there just to pad their pockets or get their uh, 15 minutes of fame because they don't have any any talent. So that's what I think. So I think all of us that really do care, continue being your good self, continue learning, continue helping your neighbor, continue learning uh, not to hate people because that's what the Christians are doing right now with the dogma. They say that they are, have people that are against them and they're in the minority. Well, that's bullshit. You know, they're writing most of what's happening right now and that's who the politicians have listened to. 
but dogma is dogma whether it's Christian or Islamic or Jewish or anything dogma is the books that people have put together if you watch the tutors right now you'll see that the Lord's Prayer used to be a different way from Rome from the Rome uh, that used to govern all of Europe until King Henry VIII pulled away because he wanted to have a divorce so that's how England changed its religion so when you see that religion can just be changed because one man wants a divorce well maybe you can see it shouldn't run your life and yes, you can take nice principles from some of the stories, but it should not run your life. You should run your life. You should get educated. You should educate yourself because you're not going to get it in school. You should do it through talking to people that have been in places you've never been or to go to places you've never been. But anyway, I'm rambling, which I've been accused of with Fibro Helmet Shell. And I'm going to do a Fibro Helmet Shell thing right now about a new uh, thing I'm going to do. But you know this young girl I gotta tell you that just subscribed to me you are wonderful and beautiful if I can help you out at all you sound like I did when I was younger and I just don't want you to be scared I want you to have a great life so this is Viper Hell Michelle signing off and I haven't done a, a video in a while so I'm gonna do one now about Fibro. okay bye